we'll now finish up. We've already assembled the top cap, the top cap and the spindle shaft, in this case a quarter inch. We have assembled the probe body and the probe tip. Now we grab our, get our wire, solder out of the wire way, grab our probe body and our spring, we put them together, set the probe down inside so that the three, let's, let's see how we can see here, yeah, so that the three arms rest between the two sets of balls at the three points on the circuit, circle. So there's the probe tip in place. With the probe resting in that position, we put the spring into the recess of the probe cap, carefully push down, get it started threading, screw it on up, and there is a completed probe. On the opposite end we have the phono plug. If you have a setup that you can use the phono plug, the red wire is connected to the tip, the white wire is connected to the middle band, and the shield which we cut off, we trimmed off, is connected to the innermost band on this connection. If you need to cut this off, in order to make a connection to your breakout board or whatever the case may be, feel free to do so. Hook it up in whatever manner is necessary to accomplish your task of interfacing it to your DRO or PRCNC or CNC. Here we're going to see why we didn't want to screw the probe tip too tightly into the probe body. Or or the contract contactor body. I'm going to I'm pulling outward, pulling this direction on the probe in order to keep the contact arm seated between the balls and I unscrew the probe. I now take the tool setter, tool height setter, and screw it. until it just bottoms out on the probe body, or, excuse me, the con contactor body. This is the skirt that you can use that will keep chips and fluid from falling inside the probe if you're using it in the probe body condition position. This would be a situation where you do not want to put Loctite on this because you want to take this off in order to be able to use the probe contact or the tool tool sight header tool height setter back to the probe unscrew screw the probe tip back in screw the spindle shaft back in and there we have the probe assembled again.